In today's video, we're diving into everything you need to know about a bad oxygen sensor, what it does, how it fails, and the key signs you should look out for. So first things first, what exactly does an oxygen sensor do? The oxygen sensor, also known as the O2 sensor, is a critical component in every modern engine. Its main job is to measure how much oxygen is left in the exhaust gases after combustion. It sends this information to the car's engine control unit, or ECU. The ECU uses that data to figure out if your engine is running too rich, meaning too much fuel, or too lean, meaning too much air. Based on these readings, the ECU continuously adjusts the fuel injection system to maintain the perfect air-fuel ratio. This keeps your engine running smoothly, improves fuel efficiency, and helps reduce harmful emissions, whether your car runs on diesel or gasoline. In short, the oxygen sensor acts like your engine's feedback system, constantly helping it breathe right and burn fuel efficiently. All right, so where exactly is the oxygen sensor located in your car? Finding the oxygen sensor is key when you're troubleshooting issues. It's usually located in the exhaust system, and the exact placement can vary depending on your car's make, model, and how many catalytic converters it has. Most vehicles have two oxygen sensors per catalytic converter. One upstream sensor and one downstream sensor. The upstream sensor sits before the catalytic converter. Its job is to monitor the amount of oxygen in the exhaust gases coming straight from the engine. The ECU uses this data to fine-tune the air-fuel mixture for smooth and efficient combustion. The downstream sensor, on the other hand, is located after the catalytic converter. It measures how much oxygen remains in the exhaust gases after they pass through the converter, basically checking how well the catalytic converter is doing its job. Together, these two sensors help your car's ECU to balance performance, fuel economy, and emissions, keeping your engine running clean and efficient. Now, why does an oxygen sensor actually go bad? Well, there are a few reasons. One of the most common issues is damaged or torn wires, which can mess with the communication between the sensor and the ECU. Another most common cause is moisture. Yep, water getting where it doesn't belong. If water sneaks into the sensor, it can corrode the internal circuits, and once that starts, it's pretty much game over unless you catch it early. Next, there's carbon buildup. Over time, carbon deposits can form on the sensor's tip, blocking it from accurately measuring the oxygen content in the exhaust gases. When that happens, the readings go off, and your engine starts running less efficiently. Another reason is electrical issues. We're talking blown fuses, short circuits, or voltage spikes that can fry the sensor's internal components. Then there's the possibility of a software issue. Sometimes a faulty update or a glitch in the programming can misinterpret the signal, making it seem like a sensor issue when it's really a programming problem. And don't forget, wear and tear. Like any electronic part, the oxygen sensor can just wear out over time. Now that we know what the oxygen sensor does and why it can go bad, let's talk about the common signs of a failing oxygen sensor. All right, the first and most obvious sign is the check engine light turning on. When the ECU detects a problem with the oxygen sensor's signal, like if it's inconsistent or completely missing, it triggers the check engine light and stores a diagnostic trouble code. Think of these codes as your car's way of saying, hey, something's not right here. If you hook up an OBD2 scanner, you might see codes like P0130, which is a general oxygen sensor malfunction. You could also see more specific ones like P0131, P0132, P0133, or P0134, depending on what's wrong. These could indicate anything from a low or high voltage signal to a slow sensor response, or even no signal activity at all. If you're not sure about what these OBD2 codes mean, you can always visit our website, 
obdcode.org, where we've got a full list of codes and their explanations. I'll also put a link down below if you need an OBD2 scanner, or you can head to any auto parts store and scan your car for free. All right, let's move on to the next symptom of a bad oxygen sensor, and that's noticeable drop in fuel efficiency. If your oxygen sensor fails to accurately measure the oxygen level in the exhaust, the ECU can't properly balance the air-fuel mixture. As a result, your engine might run too rich, using too much fuel, or too lean, not using enough. So, if you've noticed your car suddenly drinking more fuel than usual, or your mileage consistently going down, that could be a big hint. Your oxygen sensor might be on its way out. Now, let's talk about one of the most noticeable signs of a bad oxygen sensor, and that's strong or unusual odors coming from the exhaust. When the oxygen sensor goes bad, it can cause the engine to run rich, meaning there's too much unburned fuel in the exhaust. This unburned fuel can create strong and unpleasant smells, like a sulfur or rotten egg odor, or even the distinct scent of raw gasoline. So if you catch a strong fuel or sulfur smell from your tailpipe, don't ignore it. It could be a clear sign that your oxygen sensor isn't doing its job properly. Next, symptom number four, black smoke from your exhaust. This one's hard to miss. If you notice black smoke coming out of your exhaust, it could mean your oxygen sensor isn't working properly. When the air-fuel mixture gets too rich because of a faulty sensor, the fuel doesn't burn completely, and that unburned fuel exits the tailpipe as black smoke. So, if your exhaust starts looking like a mini diesel cloud, don't ignore it. It's a big clue that your O2 sensor might be failing. Next, symptom number five, your car fails the emissions test. If your vehicle recently failed an emissions test, there's a good chance your oxygen sensor is to blame. When the sensor isn't working properly, it can throw off the air-fuel ratio, causing higher emissions than normal. Basically, your engine starts burning fuel inefficiently, and those unburned gases end up in the exhaust. So if you failed an emissions test, don't panic. Before replacing expensive parts, always check your O2 sensor first. Another sign of a bad oxygen sensor is unusual noise. When your oxygen sensor starts failing, it can throw off your air-fuel ratio, causing the engine to run unevenly. This imbalance can lead to strange noises, like pinging, knocking, or even a rattling sound, especially during acceleration. So if your engine starts making odd noises it never did before, don't ignore it. A bad O2 sensor could be the hidden culprit. But hold on. Before jumping to the conclusion that the oxygen sensor is bad, it's crucial to check other components that could be causing similar issues. First up, we have the Mass Airflow Sensor, or MAF sensor. This little device measures how much air enters your engine and sends that data to the ECU, helping it calculate the perfect air-fuel ratio. If the MAF sensor goes bad, it can send inaccurate readings, which can throw off the air-fuel mix, trigger the check engine light, and cause symptoms that look a lot like a failing oxygen sensor. So, before replacing the oxygen sensor, always test the MAF sensor to rule it out. Next, we have the fuel injector. If your fuel injectors are dirty, clogged, or faulty, they can mess with the fuel spray pattern. That means the air-fuel mixture won't be balanced, and your engine ends up running too rich or too lean. This can cause poor fuel economy, rough idling, or even engine misfires, symptoms that can easily be mistaken for a bad oxygen sensor. Another component to check is your spark plugs. And yes, they can mimic the symptoms of a bad oxygen sensor. Worn out or damaged spark plugs can cause engine misfires, rough idling, power loss, and even hard starting, all issues that a failing oxygen sensor can also cause. Since both the oxygen sensor and spark plugs play a key role in proper combustion, it's easy to confuse one for the other. So before you rush to replace the O2 sensor, always check your spark plugs. Make sure they're clean, properly gapped, and firing correctly. Next up, 
a vacuum leak. This one's sneaky because it can easily mimic a bad oxygen sensor. A vacuum leak happens when extra air enters the engine where it shouldn't. This throws off the air-fuel mixture, making the engine run too lean. When that happens, the ECU gets confused and may trigger the check engine light, just like it would with a faulty oxygen sensor. Common causes include cracked hoses, loose fittings, or even a leaking intake manifold gasket. Inspect these areas carefully. A small leak can cause big problems. So before replacing your oxygen sensor, make sure to check for vacuum leaks. Fixing the leak might solve the problem without touching the sensor at all.